I am Batman. I mean, Average Sniper. What's up, everybody? Average Sniper here, and welcome to another PUBG video. Oh my god, look how many people are landing here. I guess I should have expected it because it's the castle. I don't know what got into my head. Usually I don't do incredibly hot drops. I do like regular hot drops, but this was an incredible hot drop. So <laughs> I don't know what got into me. I just landed here. Fortunately, I had a really good parachute pool and I was able to get down before almost everybody. And I was able to grab that micro Uzi and melt that dude. But this guys, this is a sweaty gameplay right here. All right, so I potatoed that guy a little bit, but I'm Pretty sure he only needs one more shot to die. There we go. He came up with a level three vest. Man, I didn't even have a vest. I'm so glad I took him by supply <laughs> supplies. So glad I took him by surprise right there. It was crazy. All right, so now I've got this guy right here. God, my shots, man. It's like I feel like my shots are on, but I'm just getting a uh, getting a little unlucky here. And then this guy steals the kill. What's up with that? So now I got a, I got a bone to pick with this guy up here. This is kind of funny. Watch. So I know the guy's up here. I caught a glimpse of him. Watch closely what happens here. Shh. Watch. <laughs> Some guy ran up there and attacked him and got shredded. So now I'm like, all right, peek me, bro. He peeks me and my bullets hit the wall. But fortunately, I was able to get him right in the head. Not sure if he had a helmet or if he was maybe just low health from that gunfight. I don't know. But I got him with the mutant and a four times scope. So I looted, I looted those guys, switched up my equipment. Now I've got an AK and a car 98. And I decided it's time to leave the castle behind. Uh, it was a good hot drop. You know, I got three kills there. And pretty much, I'm pretty sure everybody's dead unless there's the one camper that landed and didn't find a gun and he's sitting in a closet with a pistol or something. Just like, oh God, oh God, is it over? Is it over? <laughs> so um, I decided instead of going over the bridge uh, to just do a little swim, swim under the bridge instead of run over it. I had seen a car drive over the bridge not too long ago and I was pretty sure there was a guy somewhere off in the distance probably watching the bridge so i decided to go with a sneaky approach man look at those underwater graphics is, is this a swimming pool or is this uh actual life here you know what i don't know all i know is this water is cold on my balls man it's freezing i almost went into hypothermia right there man so we finished we're finished at the castle creeping along just trying to play safely Play aggressive and safe at the same time. It is possible. It basically means don't be an idiot and just run up to people. So I saw this guy pull up to this compound over here. And if you look at the mini-map, you can see that the blue zone is right on my back. It is pushing me, all right? But I'm not scared of it because it's only phase two, so it's not going to hurt that bad. So I decided to do an energy drink and sneak up on this guy. I don't want to sneak up with, like, suboptimal health here, so... I want to make sure that I know where he is and that I have enough health to win the gunfight if he sees me coming. So now the blue zone's got me, but like I said, I'm not too worried about it. It's not hurting me too bad. I'm looking to see where this guy went. He could have gone in any of these buildings. I, I popped out and I was like, oh shit, there's another building there, that little barn building. So I'm creeping up again very slowly. I don't want this guy to hear me coming. So that's why I'm crouch walking up to this rock and I'm gonna see if I can figure out where he is at this point he's probably not expecting anybody to be coming out of the blue zone since uh since I've been in it for a little while I caught some movement by the barn I scope in I see the guy but I also see that he doesn't see me so instead of start shooting I'm waiting for an opportunity and he gives it to me so that was an easy kill shot the guy in the back as he walked out of the barn um I don't really need to loot him. Actually, I think I, I did loot him and just grabbed a couple medical supplies. But uh, we've got all the ammo we need, and we've got a good scope on the Car 98, a red dot on the AK. It's looking pretty good, and we're four kills in. I decide before I move again to check for some movement, and I see this guy. I randomly just see this guy. I thought I hit him right in the head, but I think he was wiggling back and forth a little bit. The bullet missed him. That one missed him. Um, but this one, that one connected. Wasn't a headshot, but it definitely connected. He does not want to peek again. I'm sure he doesn't know where I am. He probably just wants to get over that ridge and heal. So I slowly, I slowly creep into the blue zone and, uh, I wait for the next zone to start pushing. And I'm still sure that there's somebody like to my left, like the guy that I just hit with the car 98, which actually in this game is a few minutes ago, um, in real time, but I edited out some of the boring parts. I, I'm just... 
like paranoid like where is this guy i have to go out in the open now and i don't want to make a lot of noise again because i'm just certain that this guy's here and then i see him out of the corner of my eye i'm like hmm let me hit him with the car 98 so i think i hit him like in the arm or something there and then i get a nice headshot with the ak to finish him off now my cover's blown i was nice and sneaky and i was doing nice and sneakily but now, yep see somebody shooting at me already so i'm like shit man it's it's time to just rambo run here i just gotta get to cover so i decided to do a painkiller before i get there because the blue zone's moving very very slow and uh, we're getting late game. There's only 11 people left. So we're getting late into the game. And this is the part where it starts to get super, super sweaty. Not much cover out here. Just this rock. Somebody gets a nice hit on me from way out there. So I go prone, but I'm in the blue. So I have to crawl forward just a little bit to get back in cover. I don't have that many meds. I only have a couple first aid kits and I think I have like one boost left and uh, some bandages. So I'm using, I have three first aid kits. Now I have two bandages and one painkiller. So it's not awful, but it's not looking very good. We're in the top 10 now. This is where you're probably gonna end up taking the most damage. Uh, when you're out in the open like this and I take another shot from this guy So I'm like shit. I better use a first aid kit this time I don't have time to be out here healing on every rock I take and I still don't know where the guy is I know his general direction, but I don't know exactly where he is. So I'm searching for him He shoots again at me. So I'm like all right. He can see me when I peek the right side of the rock I Still can't see him. Can he see me when I peek the left side of the rock? No, he can't he's not shooting now so I'm like, hmm, so he's got to be somewhere within that line of sight on the right side of the rock. I just, I need a, a better scope, you know? I'm like, all right, let's see. Got shot at. I think that came from somewhere else. I see the guy. He's in the window right there. I think I got a nice little hit on him, but I'm not 100% sure. Still taking shots. So now that I know where he is, I decide to move up because I can put this rock between me and that building that he's in so that he definitely can't see me. Uh, now I'm taking shots from the right side, so I'm like, oh god. <laughs> I go prone on the left side of the rock. Fortunately, there's a little hill here, and the guy can't see me. Now I think I'm down to like one first aid kit, man. So this guy has smacked me. I don't know where he is. All I know is he's somewhere out there. So I'm looking for him. He knows I'm by this rock, so I'm not trying to be too inconspicuous. I just want to find the guy and shoot him before the blue forces me to run out in front of him. That's my only goal here. Oh, he takes another shot. Look at that. You know, he's almost killed me. We're using the last first aid kit now. And now I'm looking for him while I heal. I'm like, all right, I have a better idea of where he is. I heard those shots. And then I see his head right there. Look at my health. He's almost killed me. There he goes. Smacked him. Then he gets destroyed. Look, he's dead. I thought he was still alive, but he's he was actually dead. If you look at the kill feed, somebody else took him out. I got a big assist on that one, but I don't have any heals left. And I, the blue is right on my back. So I'm like, well, this was a good game. It's definitely over. So I decided to stop on this rock, even though I'm not all the way in the zone, and just do a couple bandages because it's pretty much all I can do. Then the blue is right on me. So I'm like, oh, God, what do I do? And then as I'm running, I see this guy. I'm like, oh, thanks for the easy headshot, man. <laughs> but he was definitely aiming at somebody. Bro, I'm out here in the open. I don't know what to do. Taking shots from this guy in the house. Oh, God. Oh, I think I hit the tree. I'm not sure what I hit there. Now somebody's to my left shooting. So I'm like, all right, let me get to this rock. Whoo. Whoo. I cannot, at this point, I cannot believe I'm alive. I have less than half health, and this painkiller, that was the last medical supply I have. I don't even have an energy drink or a bandage anymore. It is over. That is that is all the meds I had. I'm like, dude, there's five left. And, and at this point, I am I was thinking, I, there's a chance, but, man, it's going to be a miracle to pull this win off. A miracle without all these meds. So I'm like, all right, there's a guy out there. I take a shot. Somebody gets him before I did. <laughs> So now there's four left. So I decided this is my chance. Somebody just killed someone. He's probably switching position. Usually after you kill somebody, you want to switch position real quick so nobody can pinpoint in where your shot came from. So I'm like, it's now or never. I'm running. <laughs> probably a horrible idea, but somehow it actually worked. So I see this wall out here, and I'm like, this is, this is it. This is where I'm going. I'm going to this wall. I'm going to chill here. And I can hear a guy shooting, like, right in front of me over there. So I'm like, all right, let's see if I can... 
take this guy out. I'm creeping along the wall, checking my checking my edges here, and I see the guy. At first, I think he sees me, but then I see that he didn't. He's just sitting there. He gives me a headshot. Master Blaster. All right. 110 meter headshot. We're on seven kills now. There's only three left. So in my mind, I'm like, I got to get this guy's meds. Like, that's the only way I'm going to survive here. I have to go get this guy's meds. So I decided to just go on a straight run for this guy and try and grab his meds. Look at, I got to run past this open area with no fences. I'm like, God, go, 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 go. <laughs> I am running so hard. Somebody took a shot at me. So they definitely, some guy saw where I was. So before I get the meds, I have to figure out where this guy is. Trying to zone in. Then I see him. Got a nice little hit on him. He's running from the blue. Take my time. Oh, get him. Yes. Now I can take the meds. I'm not. It's, it's a 1v1 now. Oh, he's shooting at me. I only got a chance to grab the first aid kits. Oh, my God. He almost killed me. My level 3 vest is shredded, bro. But I can kind of hear the direction. It's right in front of me to my 185. So I'm like, all right. No boosts, but I've got I got some first aid kits off this guy. I've got a very damaged level 3 vest. So I'm just peeking a little bit to see if I can figure out where this guy is. I don't see him anywhere on the right side of the tree, so I'm thinking he's on the left side of the fence. So I'm like, all right, time to be a hero. Let's see if we can figure out where this guy is. And as I'm looking, watch this. He shows himself. He's right on that tree. I'm like, yes. I get a nice hit on him. He was throwing a grenade. Grenade blows up right in front of me. I lean out. Then I finish the job for the chicken dinner. That was so sweaty, you guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed that. Subscribe if you want to see more. And if you want to help support the channel, consider hitting that join button. I would really appreciate that. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I'll see you on the next video or the next stream. Later, everyone.